this week's bright idea is about the startup that's helping other startups when it comes to raising money. Retailers have a tougher time getting funds compared to, say, tech firms, but a new company in San Francisco is helping to change that through a process called crowdfunding. It brings together groups of angel investors, and as Bertha Coombs explains, for the startups that benefit, it's like a little bit of heaven. Been really Rory Aiken and Ryan Caldbeck may not look like matchmakers, but their startup firm Circle Up is in the business of bringing together entrepreneurs and investors through crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is the process of connecting multiple people and allowing them to invest in a project or a company. Crowdfunding is often associated with organizations like Kickstarter that solicit donations using the internet. Aiken and Caldbeck, with backgrounds in private equity, are using the model to group angel investors hoping to make a profit. The angels buy in through a broker who pays Circle up a commission. And they get in on the ground floor of small businesses like Little Duck Organics, a healthy snack food maker in need of cash to grow. I racked up probably about $200,000 in, in debt. Two years into his business, Zach Normandin had tapped out his credit cards and the generosity of friends and family. He raised 400000 from one group of outside investors and went from selling in 600 stores to 4000 To get to the next level, Little Duck was going to need a lot more cash. Investors told him about Circle Up, and it wasn't long before he got funding. We got off the phone and and Ryan called up after and he's like, we just had $60,000 like committed just on that phone call. Wondering what we have in stock. In just eight weeks, Aiken and Caldback helped Little Duck raise a little more than a million dollars. They've helped more than a dozen firms raise similar amounts, all consumer packaged goods or CPG firms poised for growth. Angels and venture capitalists tend to focus on technology and consumers a little bit underrepresented. Traditionally, their only option to go raise money has been to fly around to various angel groups around the country. We, by putting in through an online marketplace, make that more efficient. It was the goal of the bipartisan Jumpstart Our Business Startups, or JOBS Act, signed by President Obama a year ago to help more small businesses raise capital from investors. While the law eases some private placement rules, the hope was the SEC would also ease standards that limit investment to those with at least $200,000 in annual income or a net worth of more than a million dollars, not including their home. The SEC has yet to act, but critics worry looser rules will expose investors and maybe companies to fraud. Aiken and Caldbeck feel they're laying the groundwork on a model that works for both sides. What makes it work for entrepreneurs like Zach Normandin is that beyond the cash, he's getting connected to investors he feels believe in his business. They're vetting through the investors that are coming to the table so that we're not getting like people that wouldn't be a good fit for our company. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bertha Coombs.